Hey guys, welcome back to the Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. And in the last episode, we battled all the trainers in the Route 111 desert. And, um, yeah. So, um, now in this episode, we are actually heading back to Pittleburg City, believe it or not. And that's because, um, there is, if you guys remember, like, the first, the first time we got to Pittleburg City, um, our dad said that, um, he's the, like the fifth gym leader, so we have to go and battle him now. So yeah, now it's time to go back to the past, back to um, Petalburg. So yeah, go back to the easiest way to get there is to go to Verdant Turf Town, go through the Rust Turf Tunnel, back through the Petalburg Woods, and then you'll be there. Ah, oh. okay, you'll go back through the Petalburg Woods, and then you'll be there. And we've actually already been in here. This is where we got HMO4, which is strength. You smash that boulder there, and then a guy will give it to you. Stupid Wismers are harmless. Oh my god. Alright, if I see one more Wismer, oh my god. Okay, um, now we're out here. Uh, I don't want to deal with any wild battles, so I'm just going to use a super repel and go through here. So yeah, um, let's get the super repel. Uh, yeah, I have 25 left over. And so let's go. And heading back to Rus Rustboro City. And yeah, here we are in Rustboro City. You guys remember this with, like, the first gym. Uh, that was an epic battle. Um, so yeah, now we're supposed to head back down into the Petalburg Woods, um, towards Petalburg City. And yeah, I'm almost there. Okay, finally, okay, so let's go. Um, you don't have to go through any grass, just jump down these ledges and it doesn't matter. And yeah. Okay, now we're out and we're back on Route 104, almost at Petalburg City. Not go I don't feel like going through that grass to find any wild Pokemon, so yeah, I'm going to head up here and here we are in Petalburg City. Yeah, I remember this this place, like the the fifth episode or something, something around like like that. Um, now I'm gonna be right back because uh, I gotta heal up my Pokemon. So um, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now um, I actually have to go back to um any city that sells like hyper potions or something. Wait a minute. Hyper potions I can't find until like the next. Oh, that sucks. We can only use super potions. So we're gonna have to take on the gym using super potions. So this is gonna be annoying. Now the only problem about this gym, the gym leader he has like level 29s and stuff. So yeah, now we can actually battle the gym. Now the puzzle is pretty simple. You just gotta go through every single. You can go through and every single door. And I'm just going to go through the pattern that I'm going to take. So yeah, um, this is the accuracy room. And um, the point of these rooms, every time at the beginning of the battle, um, they will use an X item. Like, if you're doing the accuracy room, they're going to use like an X accuracy. If it's the um, attack room, then they're going to use a dire hit. If they... No, I think that's in the one in KO room. Um... If you're in the attack room, they use an X attack. Defense room, X defend. You guys get it, right? Okay, so um, this is a normal type gym, and the only su um, thing that's super effective is fighting. So yeah, this is where Eris is going to come into action. Shockwave? You taught your Delcaddy Shockwave? That's stupid. Okay. But Vital Throw knocked out that Delcaddy. And yeah, we're going to be using Vital Throw in like every single battle, so yeah. And so yeah, which room are we going to go through? The recovery room? Or the defense room? I'm going to go through the recovery room. Because I don't want it to use defense, X defend. But then again, um, this room is like... I forgot what <laughs> I already forgot what it, what room it was, but yeah. Oh yeah, the 
the restore room or something. He uses like full restores or hyper potions or stuff. Um, here's a slack off. Now we were actually going to catch this, but um, turns out we didn't need it. Um, so let's go to Eris again. And now I gotta put Eris up front because I don't know why I still have Firecrack up front. Oh, and there's Counter. That's a fighting type move also. And um, Slack Off has a pretty good ability if you're battling it. It has the um the ability um Slack or something, but it it makes you like loam around. So he's just like looking around and he won't attack you. So yeah, that's gonna be happening for two of um actually one of uh our dad's Pokemon. Now over here is the one hit KO room. Now, don't worry, this guy doesn't have any one-hit KOs on his team. It's only called the one-hit KO room because, like, he uses, like, an X-Attack, I think. Or a dire hit. Yeah, critical hit, dire hit. Um, yeah, a dire hit raises critical hit ratio. And this is Vigoroth. Um, this is the evolved form of, um, of Slackoff. But this doesn't have the loafing around ability. It will attack you every single turn. So yeah, it's going to be different. But, you know, you got to deal with it. Okay, let's use Vital Throw. Oh, Slash. No! Oh my god, we lived with one hit point. What? How much will Vital Throw do to this Vigoroth? Oh, so close. Oh, you suck. Alright, now I got to heal. Um, wait, I have an energy powder. Eh, it doesn't matter. Oh, wow, that did, like, nothing. Oh, he has a hyper potion. Oh, come on, you're a trainer. You're not supposed to have hyper potions. Only I am. Or gym leaders. Well, let's see how much this vital throw will do. Ah. Oh. Alright. Um. Uh, what else do I have? Super potion. I'm gonna use that. Even though it's still barely even going to heal me, I still got to do it. And slash again! Ugh. God, I hate this. Okay. Let's go, Eris. Stop getting... Okay. Better hit for... Oh, no! No! You got a critical hit! Oh, I hate you, Vigoroth. I hate you. Ugh. You sicken me. Oh, I'm gonna kill you so much now. Ember! Oh my god, slash again? Okay. Ember's gonna kill you. Haha, -ha, that's what you get for killing Eris. <sighs> Hope I have a revive or something. And let me see if I do. Uh, yes I do, I have seven. Alright, let's revive Eris. Get him to full health. So I can take on the rest of the trainers. I'm going to battle all of the trainers in here. So, yeah. And one more super potion on Firecrack. And there we go. Now let's put um, Eris up front since I'm doing stuff with my Pokemon. So we'll put him up front. So yeah, let's go. Now over here is the gym leader's room. And this this is where the gym leader is. Um, But I'm actually not going to go in there. Because I want to battle the rest of these trainers to get some more experience with Eris. So yeah, let's keep going down. And we'll go into the, the defense room now. And let's go over and battle this trainer. Okay, so this trainer, it's another cool trainer. You're going to find every single one of these. And she has a Wigglytuff, the evolved form of Jigglypuff. Ugh, just the name of that Pokemon, Wigglytuff. It sounds so wrong. Ugh. It's creepy. But anyway, Double Edge is a pretty powerful move, but Final Throw is probably going to knock out Wigglytuff, and it did. So yeah, Wigglytuff goes down. And that's probably the only time you're going to see Wigglytuff in this, so, you know, if you want to fill up your Pokedex, that's where you go. Now over here's the Strength Room. And over here is the one-hit KO room. We already went through that, so we gotta th go through the strength room. 
I think this person uses like an X attack or something. Alright, our gym leader told us that we have to beat you even if you Wow. He even said you have to beat him because he's my son. Okay, Jody, and she has a Zangoose. Now Zangoose, this is the only time you can you can see it in Emerald or um in Sapphire or Emerald. This is the only time we're gonna be able to see a Zangoose because you can only catch a Zangoose in um Ruby. And of course, just because of a slash, water I mean ah, just because of a slash, uh Eris has to die. Ah, I hate you, Zangoose. I'm gonna kill you. Mud shot. Sword stance, great. But yeah, like like you like your um like you need your attack to raise any more. <sighs> and one more mud shot can probably kill this Zangoose. And sure, cool, we outsped it. And so we beat Zangoose. <sighs> we just beat Cool Trainer Jody. Alright, now over here, we have the gym leader's room. So, um, no, I'm not going through yet. Because I gotta battle all of the trainers in here. Alright, already went through that room, so that means... We just have to go through here, which is the speed room. Okay. Now I'm going to revive again, so I'm just going to cut this out. Okay. Now I'm going to revive again, so I'm just going to cut this out. Okay, done with that. Now let's battle this trainer. Okay. So, yeah. Um, this is Cool Trainer Randall, and f he has a Swellow. Now, for some odd reason, why would he have a Swellow? This is a normal-type gym. What person has a Flying-type in a normal-type gym? I mean, really. Great wing attack. That's probably even gonna... Okay. Okay. Um, let's see how much a Shockwave can... Oh, are you serious? Great, now I have nothing to take out Swellow. Um... Alright, you know what? Let's go to Ares then. Like, you guys might think this is crazy, but I'm gonna do it. Still probably not gonna do much. Yeah, it barely did anything. Okay, that did a lot. So that means we can go to Waterlord now. And we'll use a water gun. Oh my god, you hit me twice in a row? Oh, I hate you, Swallow. Oh, just because you killed Zapdog doesn't mean you can't kill... God, you're gonna kill Eris too? You're killing every single one of my Pokemon! Stupid idiot! Okay, so one Ember's gonna kill this thing. Oh my god. Stop getting critical hits on me! Ah, <sighs> Fine, you wanna play freaking wing attack? We'll play wing attack. Oh, wow. Don't get a critical hit on me. Okay. Yeah, take this, stupid swallow. Ha, you died. That's what you get. I win. Same kind of super bird and I won. Oh. Um, so yeah, in the next episode... We will be battling the, g our, the gym leader, Norman, so stay tuned for more Pokemon Emerald.